Hi everyone and welcome back to Colouring with Kay. Thank you for clicking on the video. So um, I'm really excited to do a tag video, in fact my very first tag video and it's the Colouring Book Scavenger Hunt um, tag and thank you so much to Imogen um, from Colouring Kid for tagging me and um, I think the original person who started the tag off was Danny Button so I will link those videos um, in the description below. So let's get started. So my first book is um, Colin Thompson's colouring book and um, it's a grayscale book and it's by um, Colin Thompson of course and uh, I think the publisher's Ravensburg. I think they make um, jigsaw puzzles as well. So the first thing to find was a picture of a man. So I have included my little tags here so I can find the pictures easier. So here is the um, man and he looks quite, um, let's say, animated there. And there's all these lovely little, like, little creatures in the background here, like this here, and uh, this sort of bird-like creature. I won't try to name them because I'll probably do it wrong. Um, let me bring you in a bit closer. So there you go. As you can see, it's a lovely grayscale book, this. And the paper is thick, really nice and thick. Um, and, you know, I think this book lends itself to being... Um, coloured with watercolour in particular. So um, I really need to colour in this book a little bit more actually because um, I've only done one picture in it. So yeah that's my um, picture of a man from Colin Thompson's colouring book. So that's the first one. And then it was a picture of fruit so I chose my romantic country book. I think this is the, I think it's the first tale is it? Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it is. Um, and so I found this, um, bring you in a little bit closer so you can see the picture. Um, it's not a complete picture because I haven't done the border and the centre of the flowers, but it's almost complete. I don't know why I didn't complete it, but um, there's my bowl of fruit there. I know it said fruit, it didn't say bowl of fruit, but this is a bowl of fruit so it sort of satisfies um, that and yeah I'm, I'm, I think I did this with Prismacolors um, pencils mainly um, I don't think I've used anything else on it actually it's just Prismacolor pencils but I think I left these um, these blank bits because I was probably going to use gel pen or something else that's not pencil but yeah um, so that's Romantic Country, um, Cocot, The Land of Beautiful Towering Castles by Erie. So that's the pick of fruit. Next one is a picture of bees. Now I hope um, I've not like um, messed up the tag but I thought I'd choose two for this one. Um, just because I couldn't make my mind up which one I wanted to show and I didn't think you'd mind. So I've got Summer Nights by Hannah Carls on and it's this one here with lots of bees on it and the honeycomb really love the honeycomb um, I like colouring honeycomb so yeah I think this one has got um, glaze on here on the wings and um, black glaze pen as well on the bees so yeah that's that one I think I used yeah pencil definitely for the honeycombs and then um, a brown glaze pen for the um, edges of the honeycomb. So that's my first picture of the bee and this is my um, second book with a bee in it so I hope you don't um, mind me showing you two. I don't think you will but I just couldn't choose and decide. Now this book is falling apart unfortunately it's one of my favourites but I've got two bees that look more like bees than the last picture, I suppose. So um, that's that. Yeah, so it's also got a word in it, wonder. So I suppose it could also satisfy um, the picture with words, find a picture with words. So yeah, I really, really like this book. 
it's got just some lovely pictures in it and um, it's called Joyce Blooms to Colour by Ellery Fowler so um, the pictures are just gorgeous it's just a shame that the book's falling apart because the binding's not a sewn binding and it's just coming apart but I still really like the book you know uh, I didn't do a background on this. I think it was mainly done with Polychromos, um, Prismacolor and also these small flowers here because they're tiny I just did those with a Stedler fine line, fine liner pen or pens, coloured pens and um, yeah I think they look really nice so yeah so that's another picture with bees bees inside it right next one a picture of um, a picture of, let me just check, sorry, a picture with words. So this is another um, Ellery Fowler book um, by Ellery Fowler. Unfortunately the paper is thinner than um, Joyce Bloom's to colour but the pictures are still really nice. It's just that the paper's thinner. It's called My Mother, My Heart, A Joyful Book to Colour um, by Ellery Fowler. So I'll just show you, bring you out a little bit just a little so you can see the whole thing right so this is um, a picture with words and I think I've got another picture with words as well to show you um, motherhood all love begins and ends there by Robert Browning I just thought it's a really nice quote again no background because um, I wasn't really into doing backgrounds at the beginning um, but I do backgrounds now for vast majority of my pictures but still I think I used watercolour pencils um, I also used some um, fine liner pen there I think a little bit of um, ghosting on the back because it's thinner paper so I probably wouldn't use fine liner on this um, but on the previous book The Joyous Blooms to Colour you can use fine liner without, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> without it bleeding through so you could use fine liner on that book but I, you get a bit of ghosting on this paper because it is thinner so yeah that's a picture with words on it um, that's that one I've also got another one a picture with words um, and so I'll show you that it's a little small book called mindfulness uh, coloring the little book of mindfulness coloring illustrations by Holly MacDonald and it's a hard backed book um, a really cute book with lots of different sort of pictures in and flora and fauna mainly and um, this was one of the first ever pictures I've ever coloured um, you know when I first started my my colouring hobby and it's of these two little cute mice and then you have some mushrooms at the bottom and I, I remember using uh, pastels just the usual um, stick pastels and I um, used a sharpener to um, you know, take the pastel um, dust off and then use the cotton wool to to sort of blend it into the background. So yeah, that's also got words here. So it says, begin doing what you want to do now. We are not living in eternity. We only have this moment sparkling like a star in our hand and melting like a snowflake. So that was by Sir Francis Bacon. So that's another book with um, words in it. Right, the next one, picture of a mythical creature. So, um, mermaids, I did check, are mythical creatures because they don't exist. Um, but I was just checking. Um, right, so anyway, the book that I chose is Mermaids, Fairies and Other Girls of Whimsy. And so I want you to choose a coloured picture as much as possible for this, for this tag. So um, I chose this mermaid and she is done with prism colour pencils you can see the skin's a bit blotchy and stuff it's not great but um, I still like the picture because I think the rest of it looks really nice and I use some stickles, green stickles in places a bit of blue stickles in places as well so um, yeah that's my mythical creature you've got some jellyfish I think there as well so yeah that's that one for my mythical creature. Next one on my list is a picture of Santa. So I've got Christmas mandalas and a little bit closer. So this one isn't coloured. 
but there's the picture of Santa in the middle. So this is a small book and it's by um, Camellia Angelkova and it's got 25 Christmas and New Year mandalas with festive winter designs. Very nice book. Um, I have done a few pictures in it but um, this one with the Santa in it I haven't done. But yeah, I like the circular designs and things. Um, thin paper but you can still use a little bit of um, embellishments with your metallic paints if, if you want. So yeah, but they're single sided so that's obviously a good thing. So yeah, that's Santa's picture. Next one, a picture of art supplies. So for this one I have a Whimsical Mandalas um, by Sharla Kerrigan, a Creative Haven um, book. Bring you out a little bit, like that. And so the one I chose was this one um, that I have coloured. I think he completed it in May. And so it's um, art materials, you can see there, um, with paint, palettes here tube paints, brushes and that sort of stuff. So um, I used lots of like gel pen on here. I actually used my Cosmic Shimmer iridescent paints here. I used Posca pens for these paints. So you should be able to see some glitter from the gel pens, the Pentel Dual Hybrid ones. So yeah. So that's my art supplies from Whimsical Mandalas. Next one, um, a picture of a bear. Well, I found a whole book, um, so I think I've outdone myself there. And this one is A Million Bears by Lulu Mayo, one of my favourite books, like the cute books. And you'll see this in my end of June pictures, because I completed this on the 14th of June. So these are uh, my little bears that are um, in the washing machine and I just think it's so cute, it really is. And then I used some, can you see this glitter? Um, it's actual loose holographic um, glitter from Stampendous, I think it is. And then I think this was um, some other form of sort of paste glitter that I used, which I might show on a haul video, because I don't think I've shown those. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this washing machine one. Um, I think it's really cute and the rest of it's obviously done with pencil. I think I used Prismacolor, um, Polychromos, Arteza. I just used a whole range of of different um, different pencils. So yeah, that's my bears from A Million Bears by Lulu Mayo. Next one, a picture of a pumpkin. So I chose this one because I have a lot of pictures with pumpkins in it so I shall show you that so this is Autumn Dreamlings by Edwina McNamee and again it's a lovely cute book it's so cute um, and so this is one that I did I think um, last year around October November time um, so 2019 October November time there's lots of uh, pump, uh, pumpkins here that you can see in this cute little bunny lady um, I think I did the um, background in ink tents, yeah, and I think I used a Tombow blender pen to blend it out rather than water S because this paper's quite thin, it wouldn't take the water, so I, I use um, the Tombow blender pen. Um, and there's a Derwent blender pen as well that I use as well sometimes to, to sort of blend it out. So yeah, that's my pumpkin picture. I think I've got other look pumpkin picture there as well there's lots of pumpkins in this book so that's another one I think I use some stickles on there um, and the stars have got stickles as well let's just check is there any more to show <coughs> that one here excuse me is another um, one with lots of pumpkins in it so yeah and that one another one as well um, so these were all probably done around October, November time, but there you see the pumpkins and these cute little cats here. Really cute. Okay, um, so yeah, that's the picture with pumpkins in it. Next one, oh, um, a picture of a licensed character. Now, I don't have any books apart from this one with a licensed character in it, so 
um, this was the only one I have so it's got to be Pusheen and it's a cat and I love cats so um, it'll do for me so this is the one I coloured a cute little Pusheen um, inside a donut I think it's a really cute picture so it didn't take long to to um, colour this and I think I did it with alcohol markers yes definitely did um, with some uh, glitter gel pen I think on on the um, on the you know whatever you call these little bits that are on the donut I've forgotten the name often happens to me sorry right so that's Pusheen picture of a licensed character and then the last one was your favourite um, animal so this is from Flora by Maria Troll and um, I really like mice and field mice in particular which are really cute I mean I like cats as well obviously they, they're one of my favourites but I went for this one because I think this field mouse is so incredibly cute it's just so cute and you know just hanging on there on some um, wheat so yeah that's that's um, a pick of my favourite animal okay so I hope you enjoyed um, this video um, and thank you so much if you stayed with me and watched it all the way through really appreciate it I want to thank um, Imogen from Colouring Kid again for tagging me I really appreciate it thanks so much and I would like to tag three more individuals, three more people and um, I hope they enjoy doing this video as well so I tag and I'll list it in the description below as well I tag Isabel's Life I tag Colour Me Stress Free, so that's Debbie from Colour Me Stress Free, and Lucy just adds colour. So I hope um, you all um, take up this challenge, and thanks again to Danny Buttons for um, coming up with this tag, and thanks again to Imogen for tagging me. So until next time, um, have a good day, and look after yourselves. Bye.